view from the media, tell the Prime Minister to go and get Pretty funny, yeah? <laughs> that one, and it's nice, it's nice for people. Hi, Hi guys. guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today's video, I'm joined by two amazing people, Messi and Glory. And today we're going to be seeing really five reasons why Australia is far better than America. And wow, wow. this is the first time we have shown, and <laughs> okay. I actually want to see because America is like said to be like one of the best countries in the whole world. Yeah. So I actually want to see the reason why yeah, Australia will be better than America, guys. <laughs> if you're new here, please give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the bell icon to get notified and start posting new videos, guys. And please support this online community by subscribing to it, guys. Without further ado, let's get right into this video of today, guys. G'day, you good motherfuckers. The butt's mine here. Absolute pleasure to be inside your phone or your computer or whatever you're watching this on. Let me just say this real quickly. I love America. It seems like a really nice place. We have so much to thank them for. Like movies. And thank fuck, because all Australian films absolutely suck. Technology. Yeah, we invented Wi-Fi, which means everyone can watch porn now, which is wonderful. And culture as well. Culture, hang on, mate. We do shoeys all fucking day. It's all about yeah. the fucking shoey around here. But outside of all that, there is some hilarious shit that you American people get up to that sort of ruins your country just a little bit. And that's why I've decided to make a video all about five different reasons that Australia is far better than the US of A. But first, ladies and gentlemen, it's competition time. The new merch drop is almost here on the 25th of November. Brand new merch, just like this amazing moist t-shirt that sold out in the long sleeve form extremely quickly last time. Now, listen to this. This is important. The competition is... The first prize is five thousand fucking dollars. Not bad. Second prize is a big old merch pack. Oh no, that's third prize. Second prize is wait for this. This is exciting. I'm very pumped. You get free tickets to all my shows for life. <laughs> <laughs> and to win, all you have to do it will Ooh, be announced on the twenty fifth of November on the same day as the merch drop. All you have to do, right? is sign up for the Good Motherfucker Club, which is Five absolutely free. The link is down below in the top comment and the description. Go and sign up right now and the Buttsman is going to shout you Christmas because it's been a fucking turd of a year <laughs> and if I can give back, then fucking good old mood. Reason he does a very good businessman. <laughs> One, Australia is far better than America. Guns, all right? I love guns. Let me just say that. I enjoy guns. I've got a casing of a 50 caliber rifle right there on my shelf. But, America, I'm sorry, I know it's in your constitution, but pull your fucking heads in. We had one mass shooting in Australia back in the 90s, and everyone just sort of went, fuck me, dead. Uh, probably shouldn't give every Tom, Dick and Harry a fucking rifle. Probably not a fucking great idea. Which sucks, but it also means we don't have a school shooting every 15 fucking minutes, alright? Which is nice! It is a nice thing to have in a country, I believe. America, you have a relatively easy fix to this too. Don't let mentally ill people have fucking assault rifles. And I don't mean people with depression. That's not what I'm talking about. Depression and anxiety. That's what I mean by mental illness. I mean the pricks that you walk down past at the shops, right? You walk them past in the grocery aisle and they're, they're, they're talking to themselves and you think to yourself, fuck, I hope they're not talking to me. And then you look at them and you go, oh, fuck, I hope they're not talking to me. And then they look at you and you think, oh, thank fuck they don't have a gun. That's what I'm talking about. Do you know what the deadliest weapon in Australia is? Other than me. <laughs> the deadliest weapon in Australia is a fucking boomerang. Right? Do you know how many people's no. lives are taken by this bendy stick? Not oh, many, no, if no, any. No. Reason number two. Your political environment, your politics, your politicians, and everyone who supports them are fucking insane. Ask anyone in Australia, who do they want as the leader of this country? And the general reaction will be, I don't give a fuck, they're all fucked. And that's what the reaction should be because they're all lying pieces of shit. But for some reason in America right now, like it's life or death for people based on who they go for in their political team, which is hilarious to look at. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't care. Have a look how most Australians react when they disagree well, with something that our Prime Minister, mm -hmm. our leader, does. Let's have a look at this. View from the media, tell the Prime Minister to go and get Pretty funny, yeah? <laughs> that one, and it's nice. It's nice for people to get their opinion out there. What do Americans do when they disagree with something that their leader did? They burn their cities down. Which brings me to my third fucking reason. Riots. 
There are no riots in Australia. The only time there would ever be riots in Australia if Maccas didn't serve the all-day breakfast or servos ran out of pies. That'd be fucking it. Dipshits and dickheads throughout America's homes, everything for riots. For no fucking purpose, no win, no, there's nothing positive has come from these. Just destruction and turmoil. If you did that in Australia, you ruin someone's business or you burnt it down or you trashed their house, you would get clipped around the fucking ears and everyone would hate you. Yeah. It's just true. But in America, it seems like the media is just like, oh, great work, great writing, it's peaceful. Fucking bullshit, all right? <laughs> we would never peaceful. accept that in Australia. And also, it wouldn't happen because this is exactly how all Australian arguments go. Oi, fuckhead. Yeah, you. What? Oi. No, fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. All right, bye. All right, bye. That's it. Number four, America, no your celebrities place. fucking suck, all right? Oh, they no. suck the biggest dicks in the entire world. Take the election that just fucking happened or was still happening or no one knows when it's going to end. The entire <laughs> cast of Friends went on their Instagram saying, you got to vote Biden, you got to vote Biden, you got to vote Biden. Listen, no one gives a fuck about what... No one cares what Matthew Perry has to say about the fucking election. Jennifer, all right? You, with your big old norks. Shut the fuck up, all right? Go and make a TV show for the first time in 25 fucking years and shut the fuck up about politics, you fucking goose. The major difference between American celebrities and Australian celebrities is Americans think they're so, so important and everyone cares about what they have to say and Australian celebrities know that no one cares about them. <laughs> no one. Because Australian celebrities are just normal people. They walk down the shops, no one gives a shit, right? American celebrities, everyone starts chasing them, taking photos, freaking out. <laughs> in Australia, everyone fucking hates you. Particularly if you're famous, they fucking hate you more. <laughs> and the final reason, ladies and gentlemen, and to wrap up the videos for this week, number five, is Australia is just better, it's more picturesque. It's a beautiful landscape full of amazing animals and great yes. people. Yes. Including yes. motherfuckers, no. ladies and gentlemen. The reason I made this video is just to point out that the entire world is not falling apart. Even though if you spend any time on Twitter, everyone's freaking the fuck out at the moment. It's not. Everything is oh yeah, okay. Be a good motherfucker. <laughs> Join the good motherfucking club to go into that competition. And, as always, peace in the Middle East, my dick stinks. Uh, keep it moist. Not bad. And um, uh, I'll see you all next time. Toodaloo, au revoir. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. That's yeah. the best is I this all his match? Yeah. How old is this? <laughs> the face cup looks like a shirai. No, like, I think the way you put the collection together, like, it's a more better idea. Organize. Like, organize. Hire me to organize this thing for okay. you, bro. Okay. You want to make a video about me roasting you? I know. <laughs> I know. It's so funny, guys. Like, you find it did. You point it, it's actually true. Uh, I agree to most of the things you said. Me too. And I know, like, yeah, like, it said it in a very, very, very funny way, guys. And the one I agree to most is when something happens and they are doing right, right you like, see people breaking into people's shops. shops. Like, that's from, not the government. Like, how does that affect <laughs> what the problem at hand? Yeah. You're actually stealing from someone like you, a normal citizen, vandalizing yeah, things, boxing. bringing things down, putting things on fire. Like, is that supposed to be the solution? I feel like that's not the government and celebrity pilots. Is celebrity yeah. Pilots, everybody like. <laughs> but where is he? Oh, that's like, come on, that is not like called for. Anyways, he just like, stated how many things? Five things. Five, five things. things. But he mm -hmm. doesn't make Australia better than America. No, he's not telling you that Australia <laughs> is better like than the like US. He's just pointing out things, things that are better. That are better in see, Australia. like I feel you see, it depends on the person where you want to stay, like. Everybody have what they like and what they what don't they like, like, what yeah. suit them, so it's down to personal preference, like, okay, oh. with the five things they point out, I still like America and I want to see Although the one I hate more that he said was that gun thing, yeah, the whole actually. shooting out and everything, but the snakes I see on the <laughs> video yeah, on Instagram, no, I'm not coming to Australia <laughs> for any reason, I'd rather go somewhere else. Okay, thank you for watching this video thoughts guys. If you have your own thoughts, please put them in the comment section. I would like to hear which country you think is actually better for you. They're like your preference guys. Yeah, your preference. And please give this video a big thumbs up, hit the bell icon to get notified anytime we post a new video guys. And please support this online community by subscribing to it guys. Please. You're watching please. this time, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. Have a safe day and I hope to see you guys on my next video guys. Bye bye.